All right, guys, what's going on? Welcome back to Top of the Line. It's your boy, Chris, and uh, well, 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 ladies and gentlemen, hope everybody's having a great, 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 did I say great, great Monday, man, Um, outside waiting on a little angel to come out from school. And um, y'all know this is a good time for me. I get to do them, get to look up some things and deep dive and get a little research in. And I came across, uh, well, I first seen it yesterday. Um. And then got some more information on it today. Jerry Jones. <laughs> Jerry Jones, when they asked about the sun, see, now originally during the live stream, I thought it was the stadium opening. I thought that's where the sun was coming in and it was killing. And that's why City Lamb um, couldn't catch the ball. And then it, when you've seen the replay, you're like, oh, it's coming in from right there. Um... <laughs> when Jerry, when 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 they asked Jerry about this, Jerry said, "Well, why don't we just tear down the damn stadium then?" <laughs> See, <clears throat> there's some people, there's some owners that this won't even be a problem. Great, we constructed it fine, great, but it's a game going on. Let's close these curtains. This is a non-issue because it's about winning. <laughs> Jerry Jones. Uh, Jerry Jones get mad. How dare you ask me about the stadium? We all know when the sun. What about the moon? Since we're talking about the sun, Jerry, you you watch a touchdown come off the board. I'm not saying that it would have changed the damn thing. I'm not saying the, the the outcome wouldn't have been the same. They probably would have still lost. But at a, if any opportunity to win. To boost your chances of win, giving you some momentum, giving you a little help, you take that. But your arrogance, your ego, make you say, "Well, why don't we tear down the damn stadium then?" The sun, we know when the sun rises, we know that a year ahead of time. So you didn't think it was a good idea, did you? And and see, they were like, "Yeah, of course, I'm in favor of curtains. I'm in favor of curtains. We not, you can spend." Billions of dollars to build a damn stadium, but you can't put some little damn. I don't care. If you can go to the dollar store and get some blinds. Just ain't but they close the shits. I know that ain't possible for that stadium, but you get what I'm saying. If it's causing you, your receiver can't see the ball. Your receiver can't see the ball. He literally put. I can't see. <laughs> you get mad. You're mad. Jerry, them fake crocodile tears that that that, that watering in your eyes at the end of every game when you get Molly Watt and nobody feels no damn sympathy for you because we told you this before the season started. Now you want to come up here like, so does, what you mean? I didn't do nothing to get better and we're not winning? <laughs> How? I, I gave away but started running back and brought him back, grandpa. <laughs> I love him starting the Pro Bowl level tackling, put in a rookie that battle play 15. <laughs> How? How? My second leader, sack guy, Doris Armstrong. He's go <laughs> He's in Washington, kill him. <laughs> How are we not winning? How are we not winning? We couldn't stop the run last year. <laughs> and we didn't do a damn thing to stop it this year, but we not winning. You got exactly what you asked for. You're getting the same thing. When this is this is the part that pisses me off. Cause we all sat there and say, yo, this ain't enough. You knew after that Green Bay, you had to go all in. You said it out your mouth. We're going all in. And then you sat back because this is what happened. Jerry's mad today. He was mad after the game. By Tuesday, that started to wear off. By Wednesday, they're the best team in the NFL again. By Thursday, they're ready. They're running, raving. By Friday, what a week of practice. By Saturday, by Saturday, they chomping at the bed. And by Sunday, they crying again. Been here, done that, got the damn T-shirt. So, Jerry, sorry. That, them, them, some people feel for you. I don't. I don't because if, if you say, hey, Chris, hey, man, don't touch that stone, bro. It's hot. And I touch it and burn myself. And I... <laughs> touch it again. <laughs> it's still hot. 
Bro, I, I, I'm, I'm, I, this is not a surprise. We've been saying this. I know I have. Now I know there's some. There was, there's some. Wait, what about the people that were talking about how big Tyler Guyton is? He's huge. Woo! Woo! Did you see that monster? I'm all looking. I see this on Reddit. And I'm not even a big Reddit guy. But I, I just heard about Tyler Guyton being, oh my God, did you see how huge? Oh, his, his hands are so big. I mean, he's a damn NFL tackle. So apparently, you got to be more than just big. Oh, God. God. You got to have some skill, too. I'm not dissing him. He's a rookie. He's going to get better, I believe. He's going to get better, but it takes time. I'm not dissing him, but he wasn't ready to start at left tackle. As a Cowboy fan, man, I even for the people that don't agree with me, I still feel bad for y'all. I still feel bad for y'all like I feel bad for myself. I feel bad for us because y'all guys, you guys are still in it. You guys are like, this team, this is my this is my team too. But when you start calling the ace of ace and the spade of spade, this team has not truly, truly went out the talent. They didn't go get Guyton. Guyton came to them. They didn't go get Dak. Dak came to them. They didn't go get... It came to them. The talent fell to them. Did You didn't see them say, hey, we're going to go try to go get... Uh, uh, we're going to swing at a good quarterback. No. Hey, Tony Romo, Tony Romo. Yeah, he's good. But get that guy. He's pretty good. Put him in now. Hey, that Dak Prescott, you remember we wanted Paxton Lynch and Carl Wentz and that damn body else? Ah, there go that Dak Prescott. He said, I'll take him, man. Last guy on the board, I don't know. I got uh, I got 12 cents. Let's grab him. You ain't put no thought. You ain't put no aggression in winning. So you put the, 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 the minimum effort and you get the minimum results. And you, to your own, to your own, what's the freaking word, dismay. You know what I'm saying? To your own ignorance, you prop these guys up. Y'all prop them up. You you sell them and sell them and sell them and sell them to us till you start to believe what you sold. And then you go overpay them. So, no, I feel nothing for the crocodile tears and you want to get feisty about the stadium because we see, but that's not nothing made up. Ain't nobody throwing shots. Those are fat. CD could not see the damn ball because the sun. That sun has been a problem for a long time. We all know that. Even with the stadium, the roof opening, we, we, this been a problem. When you said that dumb shit about, uh, you know, the sun opening and sort of the gawk look down on his Dallas Cowboy. God ain't gonna leave God out of that. He ain't looking at nothing. He ain't looking at that. He is not looking at that. He got better thing to do this time, I hope. And all they saying, yo, you know what? Put. Put the curtains up. Hey, we see the sun coming through. Just close them. Close the curtains. Lock, you know what I'm saying? So everybody got one. The other team, the, well, everybody got a fair opportunity. The other team got the same problem. So there's still a problem. What are we talking about? So they make it fair? How about you just get rid of the damn problem? Oh, Lord. Whew. Dealing with these Cowboys. Boy, I almost stopped drinking then I watched the Cowboys game. With that being said, guys, please like, up, subscribe to the channel. Until next time, man, you guys be great.